grab your soup gun yo, fry your latkes, and prepare for the best bar tour you ever heard. The holiday of Hanukkah focuses on two miracles, the miracle of oil and the manure, and the miracle of war. At first glance, these two miracles focus on two contradictory things. The menorah stands in the base of Mijosh in an area where only the Kohanim are allowed to enter. The war, on the other hand, is waged outside, involves everyone, and influences an entire region. Rabbi Lichtenstein points out that there, are, there is an element of which makes them less arguable. The Gemara in Masechet Shabbat says that the menorah has great importance for all, the, for all nations. Its function is to, to eliminate outward, and not only within the Beit HaMikdash. Part of the purpose of the war, which was fought outside the Beit HaMikdash, was that in order that the Beit HaMikdash could be purified. In fact, it would be disastrous for each side to only focus on her problems and ignoring the other side. The Kohanim only interested in finding pure olive oil and purifying the Beit HaMikdash, while not helping out in the war effort, and the rest of the nation caring only about the external factors and not worrying about the Beit HaMikdash at all. The Chash Monaim understood this problem and tried to bridge the gap by taking a political role to go along with their priestly role. They felt that combining these two problems would be beneficial to Am Yisrael. The nation would be connected to the Beit HaMikdash and all that it symbolized and involved in worldly matters guided by Torah values. We have to take the lesson of the Chash Monaim, each of us personally and also communally, to engage in both tasks both our inner spiritual development and the building of Am Yisrael, its culture, and its land, in the spirit of the Torah. Hanukkah Sameach!